time reco uh, um, intercepting this character's recovery, though neutral is going to be might be a bit tough. Yeah, um, neutral she doesn't have the greatest movement. Doesn't have a reflector, so we'll see how Ven does walling Mr. E out. Yeah, uh, for those asking in the chat here, yes, Ven has actually won an MSM online before, so Ven definitely not a slouch. I think it's one about two. So Ven is one of those players who no slouch all thing. Like we said, you know, one of one of the strongest players online, but definitely one of definitely the strongest players offline. Uh, there's a reason why him and Fogo toe to toe in Vegas, literally, bam, <laughs> chin for chin, tip for tat. Uh, but of course, Mr. E being the character, especially as soon with Lucina here, I think the aggressive Mr. E is what we're going to start seeing here because you don't want to give Zelda any time of the day to have any opportunities to have charging or space. No, and I think that, that the set against Wadi would serve as a good warm up for that. You know, similar, similarly, another character that likes to run away, but wow, just gets reversed by that up B. Out of nowhere, Ven takes the first stock. I'm surprised that they agreed to start on Smashville. This is a stage that Same. Ven won't have too much space to run away here. I think what Mr. E Star Fox is also as well is like the less that gives Zelda to move, the better. But sometimes, sometimes the way that Ven plays as a player, he always goes, "I'm not stuck. You're not stuck. In, I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me." And Ven is very much the antithesis of that. E capitalizing on a miss tech there to bring it back to even and then doing a solid job of just with punishing E here most of most of the stock. Um, these ledge trap scenarios are what's going to be big in this matchup and where we're going to have to see Mr. E's patience at dealing with the phantom setups. Yeah, like I said, giving Zelda that space, that's the last thing you want. That means she has space oh, to charge. Excellent up edge cover mm. with neutral B right there. He forced out an air dodge with the Phantom, immediately recognized the situation, and just capitalized off of it. Lots of extra credit coming out here for Ven. Drops shield on that multi-hit in air. What a play. Wow, he outspaced the counter with the forward tilt. Yeah, that's if what I'm he saying. Knew that was coming, that was very good recognition. Very, yeah. lot, you can tell that Ben is very experienced in situations like that. Oh man, Ben has been one of those veterans all the way from Brawl, man. He, honestly, just a small child when Brawl came out. And even then, he was known as probably one of the best Zelda from Brawl all the way to 4 and even in Ultimate, man. He's carried that title for, them for quite some time. Ooh. And Ben gets to show off why that title is with him for so much. A story, man. Oh my God, Ben, I'm getting more here over this. This is what I'm telling you, man. If you, Mystery has to play that aggressive. If you give Zelda any space, man, she will take advantage of that. And you said it, T3, dude. Like she, Ben was so spaced even against the counter. Right, but that's the dichotomy of advance. You know, he's got to be aggressive. But if he doesn't watch his spacing, then he's gonna die to stuff like that. That'll be out of shield. Yeah. Ven, Ven, Ven does not give anything for free, man. I'm telling you. I've watched this guy play for years now. So all the way from, I would say, bots from Brawl all the way to now. Like, just definitely people, people may say, you know what it is? Zelda is bad, but Ven just makes her, her look beautiful. That's the funny thing, man. I think that's one of the things of, like, no, man, Ven is not carried by Zelda. Ven actually carries Zelda. Carries Zelda, right. Yeah, you can definitely see that here. Not, I, I can't think of many other Zeldas that are that are getting the results that Ben has. I think I can say the same thing about you, T3. Like, I don't <laughs> see that many Belmont. Like, I think you actually, I think you, people arguably say, like, before Riddles, there was you, and then Riddles was gone with Belmont, and you came in, you single-handedly, like, all right, cool, T3 is the Belmont for sure. Well, I mean, at, at least that. There, there, are some, there are some good representatives of the character, and maybe even characters like Zelda who just don't, you know, attend as much, but, you know, who, who knows? But yeah. it, it's more about Ven and Mr. E right now. So, <laughs> fo focusing on that, um, E is, is doing a good job of answering from game one, having a lead until that side B gets punished with the back air out of shield. Again, Zelda? it's... Mm -hmm. Zelda back air and Zelda forward air out of shield is quite arguably one of the scariest things she can do to you. You're like, if you're being knighted as a pain. Right. A that lot of kill power. Yeah, a lot of kill power from the air. Ooh, might have been an accidental miss on the ledge there. But uh, again, so M Mr. E, like, like, Ven is going to be playing this runaway game and, and forcing Mr. E to play aggressive. But at the same time, while being aggressive, Mr. E has to make sure that he spaces his attacks because, again, she's got very powerful out of shield options, including the forward air, the back air, the up B, that can all just seal Mr. E's stocks if he's not careful with the spacing here. Yeah, 
And yeah, one one misspaced arrow, and you see how game one played out, right? Ben was just able to go up B and immediately take care of Mr. E, but Mr. E finally stalling that arrow. Gets some time at the ledge here, 36 to 77. Mr. E on the space, he was, Ben finds the opportunity for a grab to the up throw, and he takes control of the stage all together with wow. the knight. Man. There was so much going on there. I, I think what Ben's thought process was, was I'm going to threaten uh, hitting ledge directly with the side B. And so Mr. E got afraid and tried to space his up B away from ledge, but that was a perfect opportunity to cover that with the Phantom there. Yeah. And I, I think one thing I tell people about Ven that's my favorite thing to watch him and Mr. E all together, but like, Ven uses Knight my like a Marvel 3 assist. That's the thing about Ven. Like, that is a right. Marvel 3 assist. That's coming in like Berserker Slash, you name it. Ven uses that for combos, for getaway options. It's everything, man. Right, he even uses it in disadvantage as he's recovering. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, Ben can just call on the Phantom at any moment when he needs help and he just shows up. He's got, you know, he's got, he's got his bag. <laughs> That's a true homie right there. Uh, ben trying to be the, the, not the true homie, trying to read Mr. E on the direction of Aaron Reversal here. Right. But E was close enough to immediately up E. Doesn't have to worry about burning his double jump to get back there, like on the first dock. That's something you got to look out for, the beefy up E. Zelda's love to catch people off guard with that. Wow. E deciding to mix up his recovery, go high. But he's, he's going to re grab the ledge, and the stocks are even, but he's going to have to play oh, nearly what? immaculate, but drops his shield oh, there. I thought I'm he not might sure have been going. Yeah, I, th I think he might have been trying to go for parry. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm crazy. I, mean, I don't parry, know. You're, not, you're a little far away to get any kind of punish off that. I don't know what happened. I, I, I blinked. I saw Mr. E get up, and then I saw him die. <laughs> That's what I saw. Possibly just a flub there. Yeah. But who knows? But very surprising. Mr. E uh, having all the momentum after the 3 0 against Wadi, but now he may be a victim of a 3 0 himself from Ven, uh, deciding to run it back. E, Mr. E is going to need a pretty convincing change of momentum here to bring this back. Yeah. Van has always been the strong tactician with Zelda, and I think for Mr. E, it's like you said, right? Let's go back to bread and butter. Yes, I have to be aggressive with Zelda here, but maybe I need to take some time to play a little bit the slower pace game. Because being aggressive here, man, I'm walking into everything Ben has out here for me, and it's not looking good right now with a 2 0 from Ben. Right, I I'm not sure if this is the reason why, but it, it just seems like the patience that he had against Wii Fit Trainer is not is not showing itself against against Ven here. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, we or Zelda versus uh, in comparison to Wii Fit, she's not healing off of her specials like Wii Fit does. He you know, can take all the time in the world if he has to. That was a good patience there coming off of the side special. Right, kind of spacing these aerials, jumping around just outside of, of Ven's uh, uh, reach. Nice up smash out of shield against that up safe, or unsafe side B. And it looks like e, Mr. E may be turning this around. Good but to gonna have to consider, gonna have to consider if, if E's successful taking this game out, Ven's got multiple opportunities to stage counter pick. Ooh, waits for an air dodge, but E, veteran player, will not give it to him. Yeah, E has a little bit of a lead here. For the first time in the past two games here, he knows he wants to hold that lead as much as possible. Sliding forward, so for control here, and the upper to stop the air. No jump. E. Yeah, you can read that. Like that Ooh, patience. Might have yeah. been a spooky <laughs> up E there. E, e got a little afraid and, and air dodged out of that situation. Yeah, this time, no counter from Mr. E. <laughs> Pays in mind how that went the first time here, and Mr. E going to watch out for that recovery here. Has to go extra low, waits for the invincibility timing, and this time it will pay off. He did that against Wadi here. Up there. Yeah, and I don't see him messing up here against Ben here. Landing, right. second hit of Nair, enough knockback there to stop Ben on the opportunity here. He did that also against Wadi. I think that's what he's doing, T3. He's looking back at how he played things with Wadi, and then finally putting that into practice here against Ben. Right, possibly. He's been alternating his get-ups a bit. Uh, before he got that kill, you know, he, he picked a neutral get-up, saw Ven covering roll, and the next time he's like, oh, you're not going to cover roll this time, I'll roll this time. Uh, yeah. And then <laughs> alternating back to neutral get-up, but kind of got um, corner pressured enough to lose his stock. But he's doing a very healthy 
Uh, he's got a very healthy one this time around, very healthy lead, and is doing a pretty solid job at uh, adapting to Ven's play. Neutral and advantage state here. Alright, Mr. Yun back air. Stage control here. Like I said, I'm looking for the looking for the spacing down to white. He, he also that's the one thing too. Zelda, I think Zelda teleport is arguably one of the best. Oh, what a read there from the Ooh. line. Yeah. Great anti-air there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saw him at the end, he was just kind of abusing uh, Lucina's range. A lot of retreating aerials, and it seemed like Ven couldn't do much about it. Just alternating kind of the passive walling that Lucina has, and occasionally um, bursting in with aggression when, when Ven least expects it. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for Rainbow Star for actually remembering that. Like, there are a lot of players who just cover... Oh, people in general, I think sometimes majority of them are just a casual audience see Zelda and then they cringe. And they're like, oh, Wi-Fi Zelda. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, me and TP have said it. Ven single-handedly carries this character to the point that, yeah, he actually almost beat MKLeo offline. That's how good Ven is with this character. Something like 10 years experience all the way from Brawl Three, to, like, two, ultimate. One, Ridiculous, man. Go! Right. It, it's pretty easy to judge things on, on a surface level when you only have a certain... Oh, when you only have a surface level of knowledge when it comes to the seeing how these characters play exactly the way that Ven is able to use these tools when when really seen in depth they're you know all fighting games are um every action you do there has to be a decision making behind it that, that oh. would have been really nice oh i don't know what happened there was that a did the phantom push him off i felt like the phantom did push him off a little bit from what i see like he went for up b and he was a little bit just too shy off him but i also saw that night i blinked and i missed it man <laughs> yeah, me too but was just explaining that uh, every decision you make, there has to be a reason behind it. Right. At least, at least at a high to top level. And you know, you'll see a lot of these these zoner archetype characters kind of just throw things out just for the sake of pressure. But no, you could see, Van is covering options here, and and conditioning. Uh, you know, Mr. E saying, "Oh, you can't roll here, or you can't get up here, or you have to air dodge here," and then goes and proceeds to cover. You know, any other remaining options himself. Mm -hmm. But whatever happened, that that first stock has given Ven a lot of momentum they need uh, for this game four. Yeah, and so I, he's got his cut, his work cut out for him. Yeah, and I and I don't want to say like this might be the controller unplugged for Mr. E, man, because me being a fan of him, I want to see this, you know, game five. But we'll see. So far, he's doing a pretty good job just trying to hold on to the stage control here, kind of giving Ven then the slip of yes, there is that space down till here, and then catching Ven in the middle of the grab. Landing there, not going to be enough to cover the backside here. Mr. That was e on the double landing. jump. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty scary, yeah. Yeah, he, Ven could have pulled the trigger at any moment, but he gets the forward air, and yeah, this is looking this is looking a bit grim here. Ooh, with up B. It's going to give Ven some extra credit. Caught the neutral get up with the F tilt. Solid stuff there. Oh, that was good too. Because it was that, that's that a lot of shit. Yeah. That either would have shield broken, I think it was just a little bit off. But when I saw it was more of a sour spot from the fourth match. I don't want to be complaining about either, because that, that shield's looking small. But he's gonna be able to regain some of that shield after taking that stock. I'm oh, telling that you, that, that that's a Marvel 3 assist, bro. I'm telling you. Ben is ridiculous with this character. Yeah, it even combos into stuff that other stuff that Zelda has in her kit. Yeah. Like we've seen, you know, down air fair. You can down air into the phantom attack, into forward air. Oh, this Defense is a good fair trade for me. Yeah, Smart it's literally here. combo Ooh, starter. He combo might have had the opportunity to be aggressive there. Yeah. But doesn't take it. Air dodge back to stage. Good for E. Looks for the landing option, not the aerial this time. He knows it's very tempting here, but he has the first plant his feet on the ground here he knows he's down a stock against Ven. if he plays his cards right even with his work cut off for him he can come back he proved it up against wadi here he, he wants that forward air he, he does he that. <laughs> he's trying to close it out now gets the roll in but doesn't quite react to it you know what it is man it's the end of the month he's trying to close up the final sale on the car bro and that's what he wants down smash here Oh no! There it is. There's way. the point. In the sneakiest way possible, honestly. Oh, I'm so hurt. Gotta respect her on ledge. Ven's been doing that the whole time. He's not not afraid to bust out aggression while recovering or on the ledge. 